Now, crocodiles, there's two things about crocodiles. First of all, they're way too easy to kill. Right? If I, well, if I can hit them. What's up, Survivor Fanatics? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Hold Your Own. I streamed this game the other day, and I've done a couple little things at home, and I did some farming, um, but it is 11.30 in the morning, and before we do, before I show you around, I really want to get, get along with this quest, right? So we're going to go to Kobe Island and see what we can find. Um, so we're right here, so we just need to go down that way. Um, as a matter of fact, you might be able to see it from here. Yeah, I think Kobe Island is right there. So let's get going to Kobe Island. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back once we've done that. And I'm going to show you what I did with the base. All right. I, I did, you know, I don't like to do like a lot of crazy work off camera. And I and I didn't. Um, but I did do a little bit uh, with some lights. So let's go ahead and how do we do this? Speed is like that. Wait, do we have no fuel? I left, my, I left the boat on, didn't I? Last time I was here, didn't I? Yes, I did. I knew I was going to do that. Mm. Uh, I don't blame the developer. I don't blame anybody but myself. Um, but I got to remember to turn that stuff off. Generator 2. The generator's off, so that's good. I can't believe I left the boat on. Uh, I can't be doing that, man. I can't be doing that. Guess. You know, I have a lot of gas, but it's not like... All right, let me close the door so you guys don't get pissed off. Here. Here, watch. I locked it, okay? Nobody's going to get in there. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, I can't. Damn it, Cage. Ah, it's so easy to forget. Do you guys ever forget? Can you just tell me you forget? Make me feel better? That'd be nice. All right, so there we go. All right, let's get going. Cage, cage, cage. <laughs> what are we going to do with you, brother? All right, let's go to Kobe Island. Let's, get, let's uh, get this guy from Kobe Island. What I'll do is when I get close, I'll read the quest. Because I haven't read the quest in a while, and I just want to get going. Um, it's not that I'm in a, like, a, a huge hurry today. It's just... Um, you know, it's already noon. Uh, I wouldn't even bother going if this was like a regular daytime, day-night cycle. But the fact of the matter is, uh, it gets it gets um, dark very late in this game, and it gets light very early. Uh, the idea is the developer doesn't want us like sitting in darkness the whole game, which is unrealistic but fun. And I am a fan of realism, but not at the expense of fun. So I support that change. So we're gonna go to Kobe Island and we're gonna see what's what. Um, I think I don't know if we're supposed to rescue somebody. I thought they said they were undercover. Um, I have no idea about what I'm about to get into, which makes it even dumber that I'm going there with not you know a full day uh, to do things. But uh, I'll probably be okay, right? I mean, probably. Probably so. I probably should have brought some stuff for an outpost or something. But we do have the boat. We could cook on the boat. So, you know, I could probably find some uh, vegetables and stuff for carbohydrates. I don't know if you saw, but I'm actually quite high on carbohydrates and, and, uh, and um, meat at this point. Uh, on stream, I went throughout the game. There's a couple things I did on stream, okay? I put down lights. I will show you when we get back. Um, and I, I, did, I did some things here and there with the base. I picked up all the torches since I had down lights. I want to rely just on torches except for outside. I mean, I want to rely just on electricity for outside lights or for lights. But outside, I want it to just be torches. So we'll have electri electric lights inside, torches outside. Um, I also went to Trader Island, killed a, killed a few uh, hunters. Uh, basically what I do is when I'm streaming, I record it. If I'm in danger, if I'm out of my base, I record it. And then if I die, I'll have the footage for you and I can put it in the video. If I don't, I just delete the, I just delete the recording because there's, there's nothing there. It's... Um, it's uh, there's just nothing there. So um, I do want to have my death on camera if I die, though, because I'd feel really bad if I died off camera. That would just, uh, that wouldn't be cool, right? I mean, so I went around all on Trader Island. I put down a bunch of lights. I worked a lot with the farm. I picked stuff on the farm. I planted stuff. You guys are right. The berries grow so freaking fast, um, like really fast. Like I think a third of the time or maybe two thirds of the time, they grow a lot faster, maybe double, double, twice as fast as the other crops, possibly. Okay, I already picked the berries, replanted them, I planted some other stuff. That farm is full, uh, the farm is going good. We need to um, pick the stuff and keep our carbohydrates up. We also need to start saving, letting some of that stuff go bad uh, so we can make another another grow plot. So that's what we're looking at. All right, guys, we came from right there. This is indeed Kobe Island. Um, let's read the quest really quick. Jack suggested that um, you speak to his friend Stan. He has some information you might find valuable. He can be found in a town on Kobe Island. All right, and here's the map, and you can see right here, Kobe Island's got this little, this little area right here, and that's exactly where we are. Okay, um, should we stop here? We can get a little closer to shore. All right, 
That should be pretty good. Okay, I just want to be able to get out of here quickly if I need to. All right, turn it off. P. Get out and make sure it's turned off, Cage. 4450. Looking good. Oh, we actually brought some carbohydrates with us. That's nice. All right, good. That's going to help. If we see any animals, we'll kill them. Do I have a lot of arrows? I do have a lot of arrows. I made a bunch of arrows. All right. All right, so the first place I'm going to look is over there. Um, I could just pull right up to the town, but I'm worried that there might be enemies there. So let's uh, let's go this way, and uh, we'll kind of hoof it over there just in case. It's uh, I don't think it's going to be there's going to be enemies there, but you never know. What is that? That's just a cow. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a little nervous being on an island I haven't been on before? I've never been on this island. So this should be pretty entertaining. Let's go ahead and drink some. We're pretty good. We, we should kill that cow. You know what? In the interest of protein, I think I am going to kill that cow. I'm just a little nervous. I don't want to run it. I, he's going to run me into hunters. I know it. There we go. Come on. Die. Ooh, nailed him. Ooh, another cow. Is this Kobe Island or Cow Island? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Only two pieces of meat off a cow, huh? Okay, all right. Well, two pieces is better than no pieces. All right, let's get back to the uh, ocean. And uh, we'll continue. I could kill that other cow. I'm going to leave him alone now. I'm going to leave him alone. We'll see. Hopefully I won't be here long. I'm hoping this won't be like a big thing. But I could have swore this guy said this guy was under... The guy that I talked to said to come see this guy, but like he was undercover or something. Is that... Like he's like posing as a... As a bandit or something? I don't remember. I don't remember. Should be pretty interesting. Gonna have to be a little quiet though, just in case someone tries to sneak up on me. And I gotta watch my stamina as well. When I was streaming, I got into trouble because I had um, hunters chasing me and my stamina was getting low. And that's just stupid. That, that, that should never happen. You gotta pay attention to your stamina. That's definitely a town. So, we probably could have brought the boat over here, but whatevs. I can't imagine there's not gonna be there's not gonna be hunters here. That wouldn't that wouldn't make any sense. So fully expecting getting into some combat here. Okay. Not seeing any movement yet. Did I just see somebody? No. Huh. Okay. There's going to be hunters. They're probably right there. Right there. Right? They're going to spawn any second now. These might not be hunters either. These might be bandits. There's a difference between hunters and bandits. Bandits are much diff more, much more of a threat. Sorry, guys. I might be a little bit careful because if I die, it's really going to set me back. That's my sniper nest right there. Let's get in. Let's get in one of those buildings. We definitely should have brought the boat closer. I think when I go back to the boat, I'll bring it closer. I just, you know, I was just worried that there'd be guys over here that could shoot at my boat. I don't want people shooting at my boat. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, give me that fertilizer. Well, it's not fertilizer, but it's going to be fertilizer. All right. Do we have anybody over here? I see zero movement, so I don't know. Maybe there won't be any. Uh, maybe there won't be any uh, bandits on on this island or in this area. Not really seeing any. Oh, there we go. Cool. One down. All right. You thought you were gonna fool me, didn't you? Didn't you? He's in a weird spot, too. They're not usually over here. They're usually always by the hotel or motel. So we're going to we're gonna have to be on our game here. Okay, very good. We got some more protein if we choose to cook it. All right. Let's see what we got here. I might be a little quiet because I got to listen. Your, um, the noise indicators are extremely valuable in these situations. As a matter of fact, I'm going to move this up to here in case I need to use that quickly. A 
I'm not seeing any other movement, but... Oh, nice. Nice. Probably leave some stuff back here, too. Problem is, I say I'll leave this stuff here, and I'll like, oh, I'll come back and get it later. And I never come back to get it later, you know? So... <laughs> Use the gun inside just in case. There's never been anyone inside, but you never know. These um these buildings are always empty until they're not, right? Because you know someday he's gonna have him be in these buildings. I'm not looking forward to that. Wow, I'm full already. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave the corn. Well, let's eat the corn. There's no reason not to eat it, right? Uh, I don't I don't do coffee or or the other uh i don't do coffee and i don't do any of the, like the um teas uh they're pretty good uh they give you a lot more thirst um the problem with it is oh boy the problem with the teas is uh sorry they, they take up water you know so oh boy oh boy oh boy leave that leave that take that I'll be back for this stuff later. <laughs> sure I will. Huh. Oh, look at that. I think that's my guy, by the way. It looks just like Scott from, uh, from Mist. Did you see him? Maybe you didn't see him properly. I'll show you. Don't worry, we'll get to him. I'm thinking that's my guy. That's my contact. Okay. Nothing. This place is really easy to get to, though. I mean, I might actually come back here for the loot I've left behind. Although, technically, I haven't really left anything behind I give a crap about. Whoop. Oh, train to a wall. <laughs> Super pro. Okay. You think there was only one guy? Possibly. Maybe. Uh, I don't... I don't feel right about this. Thought I heard something right before I came in here. Can I close these? Oh. In mist, I can close them. Here, let's check up here. This might be a setup. Freaking Scott. Green tea. Chamomile tea. Wow, a lot of tea in here. What's up, Stan? Stan the man with the plan. Hi there. Jack told me you might stop by. We can't... We can't really talk here. Someone might notice you <laughs> until I kill them. Um, I need you to find the workshop blueprints. Oh, yes. I would really like that. It contains some knowledge we all need. Go to a town location. Go to a town located on Skull Island. I overheard a guard talking about those blueprints being held there. Um, there are two towns on Skull Island. I'm not sure in which they're found, but I heard that they're being held in the back room of a store. Um Go see Jack once you've uh, retrieved them. He will let you know where to find um, me and get, get more details. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Now, I've been to Skull Island, and I was at one of the towns. I don't remember what episode it was, though. Hold on. Let me get out of here before I start talking about this. You know what? I don't have any room for his loot anyway, so let's just get out of here. Anyway, um... What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, Skull Island. So I did go to Skull Island at some point. Um, is it... Damn it. I can't really talk about this. I gotta, I gotta keep my ears open in case uh, I get spotted by a hunter. Just give me a sec. Let me get to the... Let me get to the water. Alright, so Skull Island. Um, is, isn't Skull Island where I rescued Julia? I'm pretty sure it, it is. So... Oh, okay, a wolf. Let's stay away from the wolf. If Skull Island is where I rescued Julia, I might go back and watch that video. I'm not really sure if I have time. Um, but 
if that's if that's the place where I rescued Julia, then there must be a second. Well, there's a second island on there, and I know where the I know where the I know where the town. Sorry, the town. I know where the town is that I rescued Julia in. So all I have to do is find the other town. Do you guys have? Does anybody have the location of the second town? If you do, let me know in Discord, please. I really um, I don't always have hours to like look around on these islands and stuff. All right, guys, I am just out here in the middle of the ocean, and I believe that's Skull Island. If you look right there, first of all, let's make sure that's Skull Island. That's the one directly north of me, right? Betrayal Island is to the west. Yeah, Skull Island's north of me, so that's Skull Island. That's Kobe Island. That's my island. And that's Skull Island. You see right there? Oh, wait a minute. What, what about those? Which one did I go to? I think I went to that one. There's a town right there. You can always tell by the wind, the wind turbines. And there's a town right there. I'm 85, 75 to 85% sure that's the one I went to. Because I think when I was coming around the island, I went in that little that little alcove thing there. And I, I believe that's the one I went to. So I think I need to go there for the blueprint things. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Because I'm not really sure. We're not going to get to it today. Um, although, nah, nah, we're not going to get to it today. But um, I we will probably do it next video. Honestly, I don't I don't see why we wouldn't. Um, yeah, you guys let me know. Uh, Discord is the best way to get in touch with me. If you guys want my Discord, it is in the description of all my videos. Um, you guys come on Discord, chat, whatever. Even if you don't have information, just come on and chat. Um, I love having people to talk to in Discord. But if you have information about where the where the ba where the base is uh, for these plans on this island, that would be great. Because if I do a video and I go to the wrong base, that video is you know it's gonna be all video, and I won't get what I went there for. So that'd be kind of, that, I mean, it'd still be like a loot video, so it probably wouldn't be that bad, but yeah. So um, we're going to go back to base now and I'm going to show you what I've been up to there uh, and what I did on stream. All right, guys, we are home and I'm going to record this pulling up here because I want to make sure I do whatever I got to do to remember to turn off the freaking boat. All right, turn off the boat, bro. Wait, what is that? Turn off the boat, bro. P. Okay, let's make sure it's turned off. I gotta get, I gotta get into the habit of double checking. That's the thing. Um, we should also take this stuff out of here. I want to sell it, but the problem is, um, I don't know why I put it in here because to sell it. You know, that doesn't make any sense. All right, so forty twenty four, we're okay. All right. Wow, we're a little bit farther away than I wanted to be, but what are you gonna do? All right, let's come on in here. Let me show you what I've been up to. Um, first of all, the first thing I did was put all the torches on the outside. They're on the walls. Now. The torches, actually none of the lights give you a lot of light by themselves, but when you put a bunch of them in, in one area, that's when the light starts to, you know, really come into its own. So I've got a lot of torches out here on the porch, and then inside we put a, a light right there. We, you basically want to put one of these, these ceiling lights are the bomb, by the way, these things are the best. But you want to put a ceiling lamp on each foundation, basically. See? Although they're not really in the middle, are they? I thought I put them in the middle. Apparently, I didn't. Oh, well. Uh, I'll move them around some other time. And then I got these wall lights here, which, you know, they're okay. I had to put a few down. And then uh, up here, I don't have much of anything because I don't have a roof yet. I'm still going to use torches up here since I don't have a roof. I also moved a crate up here. And I put some torches out like this. And then I experimented with some of these lights. This light's pretty cool. Um, this light's not too bad. And I'll show you what this stuff looks like during the night. And this one doesn't do much. So, all right. So, here are the berries. Um, inventory's full, of course. So let's uh, let's clear our inventory. Then we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pick the stuff out of the farm. All right, that'll work. Inventory is nice and cleared out. Let me show you my uh, let me show you my inventory too. I also put a military crate down here. I'm gonna start really stocking military crates. And this is all the uh, iron I have. All the or all the um, ores I have. I should probably cook a good amount of that iron. I don't think I want to cook it all because I want to save some in case I have to make picks or something. Um, but I think we can cook that much. So let's bring this over here. Kind of scroll down a little bit. We got some stone. We got some clay. We've got cobalt alloy. That stuff. We got the um, the glass. All that stuff. Uh, let's take a look what we got going on in here. Put that right there. We're gonna have to hit more stones. We gotta get we gotta get some more glass. Glass is kind of important. All right. Five minutes. We have to try and remember to turn that off. Ugh, good luck with that. Uh, what are we looking at here? Let's go ahead and make sixteen of those. I'm saving uh, glass uh, glass jars for salt in case I need to make more um, salt stuff. Um, all right, so what do we have here? We have some carrot seeds and some corn seeds. Okay, very good. That's right. When I was at the trader last time, the uh, trader had quite a few carrot seeds. So not exactly my, you know, food of choice, but it's all right. We should probably put a chest out here. Maybe even make this chest and the stuff for the plants. But 
Obviously, there's not much, there's not a lot of stuff we would need for the plants, so not really a big deal. So let's go ahead and pick all these. Let's go ahead and uh, pick the corn. Let me pick the corn. Corn's not done yet. Okay, needs to get one thing higher. And let's go ahead and cook the, uh, grab the potatoes, and that's it. Okay. So let's go. Let's go ahead downstairs, and um, I don't really know what I want to turn into seeds. I'll probably turn them all into seeds. Turn everything into seeds. It's starting to get a little dark. So why don't we go ahead and turn on the power? There we go, huh? How about that? How about that? These these lights are phenomenally cool. I really like them. All right, so uh, there, there. Nope, that's that's seeds. Potatoes. Uh, we will definitely turn all the potatoes into seeds. And um, you know what? I think I'm gonna do the same thing with the berries. See the berries. I kind of want to save the. You know what? I kind of want to save the berries for spoiling food, but I'm gonna need some actually I'm not gonna need some carbohydrates anytime soon never mind let's just let's just make all the berries the hell with it well, well if we save the berries by the time we need the carbohydrates the berries will be will be no good so yeah let's just turn them on to seeds all right so where are the berry seeds uh, there we go the first one there we go that'll give us they get two what if you turn uh, something into seeds you get two per piece so one berry turns into two seeds and it's just like everything else all right, so let's go out and see these. These look really. Wow, this looks this looks a lot better than I remember. This looks nice. I do think I'm gonna move this stuff inside though, because I I really want everything outside to be torches. I think that'd be pretty cool. So, all right, let's go ahead and plant everything. Let's go ahead and plant the carrots. The carrots do not take a lot of room at all. I mean, these take the least amount of room of anything. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Maybe we should do it from this side. I don't really like walking on the plant bed because that, like, you know, you'd probably be killing your plants, but that is not a thing in the game, so. Alright, these are a pain. I'm just going to click as fast as I can. I'm clicking the left mouse button as fast as I can and tapping the sideways button. Just like that. I mean, I could probably take some more time and do them better, but whatever. There's only, you know, so much I can handle before I'm just like, all right, let's go. All right, try to plant these in the front. Come on. There we go. I won't show too much of the planting. I'm only showing it now because, you know, it's 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 brand new for me. Probably for a lot of you guys as well. Okay, and then we'll do these in the back. we got to pick that. I'll eat those berries. Okay, come on. Come on. There you go. Yeah, I definitely want another one of these plant beds. Okay. I could take more time and do it better, but damn, man, there's only so much I, you know, <laughs> there's only so much I can take, right? All right, so let's see what we got down here. Nope. Uh, all right, so that's going to take a little while. All right, guys, I'm just sitting here passing the night. Let me show you what I've been up to. The, um... I kind of did good with the farm, but at the same time, it's kind of screwed up because I didn't have enough room for the berries. Um, these are the only berries I have down. Really, that was that was quite foolish. I should have made sure I had enough room for the berries. I still have like 56 berry seeds. So, eh, what are you going to do? All right, so let me come show you what I did down here. I'm kind of planning ahead a little bit. As a matter of fact, why don't we put this down right now? We got the loom. Might as well put that down right now. Um, we'll put it upstairs. I'm gonna put it maybe I'll put it in my bedroom because that's gonna be my bedroom right over there. I'll put it right here for now. Seems like a pretty good spot for it. It's just kind of it's kind of busy downstairs, you know. So, all right. So what can we make with this? All right, cloth. Oh, we can make cloth. But we can already make cloth. Is that the same amount of fiber? I think it is. You don't even save any. Like why? Why would? What is, what is that under? Yeah, same amount of fiber. It should make fiber with like less, right? See, because that's like, I can already make that, so that's a pointless recipe. Um, fabric is important. We need it for a lot of stuff. We can now make our own Kevlar, which actually is pretty cheap. We can make lion fur, huh? All right. And we can now make silk. Uh, let me also tell you something else that happened on stream. Um, on stream, I ended up overheating at my own base. It was like 106 degrees out. It's like 41 degrees Celsius. Now, I, I don't know what that means in Fahrenheit, but people told me it was 106. So it was really hot. I was overheating. So I went ahead and made this cooling shirt. 
Okay, negative 15 heat, you can see right there. Let me show you that really quick. I don't like to craft off camera, but it was kind of an emergency. So that's what I used for it. Okay, so now that we got that done, let's go ahead and turn this off. There we go. We have everything to sell. We do. All right, everything's looking good. Let's go do some wheeling and dealing. Let me see what sniper parts we already have, first of all, in case you want to buy any sniper parts. We have the rifle stock and the rifle body stock and body. Okay. All right. Uh, we should also hop in our uh, our boat and get, grab the stuff out of there. Oh, damn it. I was parked too far away. Oh, did you see those bubbles? That was funny. All right, we'll take that. And then we'll go out there. We'll uh, we'll do some wheeling deal at the trade and call it a video. It's a pretty quick video. Um, it's not like my normal 25 to 30 minutes is going to cut a little short, but we got a lot done. I mean, we found Stan the man. Um, you know, we came back. I showed you what I did off camera. We did a bunch of farming. Uh, you know, we got, some, we got some stuff done. So let's come on up here and see what this lady's got. Oh, you know what? She's not restocked. God darn it. All right. I'm going to sell what I have. And then I will just um, kind of hang out while she restocks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The magnesium powder is worth a lot. I should probably start hitting those nodes. I don't think I've mined a node yet of magnesium powder. Sell the gun parts because guns are bad, okay? Well, they're bad when they're pistols. That's for damn sure. Okay. Looking good. Does she have anything I want to buy? You know what? I should probably buy that cement, shouldn't I, for building purposes? I didn't even buy all, all her carrot seeds. There we go. And um, I'll leave the rest of the stuff. Let's. I'm going to show you the arms dealer. Um, what did I say? Stock and body? Stock and body, stock and body, stock and body. Stock, body. Okay, great. You have the same two things I already have, lady. You're useless. Useless, I tells you. So I figured I'd pass some time um, on Trader Island. Might as well do some farming, right? And then I found a crocodile. Now, crocodiles, there's two things about crocodiles. First of all, they're way too easy to kill. Right? If I, well, if I can hit them. There we go. They're just, uh, they're just too easy to kill. Um, also, they, um, their skin sells for quite a bit. Now, here's the thing. Um, I was saving the skin because I was like, well, I could just make stuff with it. But um, I've been told, and like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've been told that the only thing you can make is the crocodile jacket, and you only need 12 skin for it. In other words, I have all the skin I'm going to need, so I'm probably going to sell the rest. There we go. All right, I got to get some iron. That's what I really need. The, the iron is the one thing I'm out of. I want to make the weapons bench um, next so I can put the sniper rifle together when I finally get all the parts. But the problem is um, I'm just simply out of iron, and I need a lot of it. All right, guys, every day at 8 a.m., the traders restock, and um, I went ahead and killed another crocodile. Um, I killed a few bandits. They didn't have a lot of gun parts on them, but they did have some. I grabbed some iron, grabbed some stone. I even grabbed some plant fiber, because why not? All right, so let's go ahead and do some wheeling and dealing. Call this a video. All right, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, boy, meat stew. Hells, yeah, I'll take all three of those. Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and sell her the gun parts. I'm going to hold on to the shotgun shells, I guess. Although, eh, hold on to them for now, I guess. I will hold on to those for the time being. Um, sell the magnesium powder. Sell the knife. I went ahead and made myself another knife because that knife was done. There we go. Is there anything else I want to sell? Nah. Nah, we good. We good. Let's go ahead and buy the fish. The canned fish stuff. It's pretty good. Um, always buy all of the water. Anything that you can get plastic out of, I always buy it. Uh, we don't need we don't need berry seeds. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Um, you know, I've got a lot <laughs> of bandages, but you know what? I'm going to get more anyway. Uh, carbohydrates are looking okay. But I should probably buy some. I'm always I'm always looking for carbohydrates. Um, I think that's pretty much it. She's a little lackluster there. Let's see how my... Um, yeah, this thing's not... The mining helmet's not even close to needing uh, to be built again. But I'm going to buy a flashlight anyway. Just for the next mining helmet. I don't want to be without a mining helmet. All right. What do you got? Receiver. Receiver. Shotgun. Shotgun. Pistol. 
Um, sniper rifle barrel. Yes, I will take that. How many parts are there to the sniper rifle? Can you guys tell me? I think there's only three. So if I could just make, maybe next video I'll make the, maybe next video I'll do the quest or maybe I'll make the gun bench. Not really sure. But that looks pretty good to me. We're out of money again too. I hope that's the last piece. All right, guys, I am going to call this video. I'm going to go back in. I'll work on the farm a little bit more. Make sure those carbohydrates are looking good. Uh, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.